Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Kick the Problem. Today we are going to solve a problem called majority element. In this problem we are given a array in which we have to find the majority element. Majority element is an element that appears more than n by 2 times in the array. Let's see the example. In this example size of the array is 3 and array elements are 1, 2 and 3. Its output is minus 1. Here is no repeated elements so output is minus 1. In next example the size of the array is 5 and here are repeated elements so its output is 3. How it is 3 we will discuss later on. In this question it is given expected time complexity should be order of n. Guys please notice this one. We are uh, I will discuss about this uh, s some moments later. Let's move towards the solution of this problem. I have taken three cases. First, let's see the first case in which uh, which we saw this in example number one. Here, size of the array is three, and three elements are in this array. Here are three elements that are one, two, three that I have written over here. So one is how many time in this array? one time next two is how many time in this array two is also one time next three is how many time in this array three is also one time and size of the array is three so three by two is 1.5 but uh, in programming if we do three by two it will take one because it will take floor value it will not take after decimal or round off so n by two will be one so any you can see any of the number is uh, Repeated repetition is greater than n by 2? No. So we have to print output as 1. That's why it was given minus 1. Output as minus 1. Okay. Let's see the second example. Here size of the array is 5. 5 elements are given. Uh, the elements are 1, 2 and 3. 1 is how many time in this array? 1 time. 2 is how many time in this array? 2 is also 1 time. 3 is how many time in this array? 1, 2, 3. So 3 times. Let's write. So, which is the major most repeated element? 3 is most repeated element. Now, let's calculate n by 2. n is almost 5. 5 by 2 is 2.5, but it will take floor value. That's why 2. Now, the repeated value is 3. And how many times repeated? 3 times. So, 3 is greater than 2. That's why 3 will be output in this case. Let's see third case. Uh, here in this uh, array, there is only one element one that is only one time and n by 2 is n is 1 1 by 2 is uh, 0 0.5 but it will take uh, floor value that is 0 it is only one time not repeated but we have to check that uh, repetition should be greater than n by 2 that is true over here that's why its output will be 1 so guys let's discuss about the solution of this problem I am going to discuss here about two approach. One is naive approach, another one is efficient approach. Naive approach will take time complexity of order of n square. In this approach, I will use two for loops. By using first for loop, I will traverse this array. By using second for loop, I will keep the count of frequency of each element. And then after the element with max maximum frequency, I will store in a variable called max count. I will compare that max count will with n by 2 if it is greater than n by 2 then i will print that else i will print minus 1 that is asked it is asked in the question now guys uh, i am not going to explain more about this approach because it is taking uh, time time complexity of order of n square but in question it is asked to find uh, time complexity of order of n if you want to know about this uh, way approach i will put the code in the description you can go and watch over there Next approach is efficient approach. Uh, we have to use here Morris voting algorithm. This algorithm will take time complexity of order of n. In this algorithm, we have to find two things. First thing, we have to find the target element. That means we have to find the must limit repeated element. And then after we have to check that target element is majority element or not. That means we have to compare with n by 2. If it is greater than n by 2, then we will print that as majority element as well print minus 1. First finding target element. To find target element, 
we'll use a for loop inside that for loop if measure is equals to a of i count plus plus else count minus minus if count is equals to 0 measure is equals to i a of i count is equals to 1 by seeing this code you are not able to understand this i know now let's see how it happens actually let's understand this initially uh, these are the elements in the array i will suppose first element as it is measured element and i will suppose count is equals to 1 now let's see in this ar in this code here it is uh, traversing is starting from index i is equals to 1 that means second element initially we have already initialized that measured element is 3 now we'll compare look if measure is equals to a of i is this element equal to 1 that is false so it will go in the else part that means in else part it is in count minus minus so 1 will change to 0 after that it is written count is equals to 0 yes count is equals to 0 so majority element will be a of i now this will become our majority element and count will become 1 again count will become 1 in the same way again we will compare this and this are equal or not no so again this element will become 0 again uh, count will become 0 that means again we will uh, keep the track as if this is our majority element and again count will become 1 now again compare these two elements are these two measure element is equal to a of i yes it is equal to a of i so we have to what we have to do we have to do count plus plus so count will become 2 again we have to check this measure element is equal to this or not uh, this measurement is not equal to this so we have to do count minus minus but still our majority element is this only now look uh, uh, count is count is equal to 0 or not it is not 0 so our count is equal to 1 and majority element is equal to 3 so means target element uh, so let's suppose 3 is our target element so guys after finding our target element uh, why we cannot say this as majority element I will explain over there. Let's see different another case. Here array is equals to 1, 2, 3, 4. Initially, first element is measured element and count is equals to 1. Now it will compare with next element that is 2. It is not equals to this, so count will become 0. And then after uh, this will be considered as measured element and count will become as 1. And then after it will compare with next element, it is not equal to that so this count will become 0 again 3 will become our majority element and count will become as 1 now it 3 will compare with 4 3 is not equal to 4 so now count will become as 0 again a majority element become 4 and count will become at the end as 1 at the end target over here we got 4 as our target uh, which is how many time repeated in this array only one time but if we find n by 2 in this array it will become how much 4 by 2 is 2 uh, 4 is repeated how many time one time and n by 2 is 2 so 1 is less than 2 so every time we cannot say that target element is our measured element so after finding target element we have to verify that target element is our majority element is or our majority element or not so i will explain this in the code let's move towards this code of this problem at the starting we have to check for uh, like third case we have done that if in an array can consist of one only single element or not in that case if size equals to one directly we will return that element is majority element as we have seen in this case if uh, there is only one element in the array that will only be majority element now if there are in the array there are greater than more than one element for that case first of all we have to find the target element before starting that for loop I said that I will initialize first element as our major element so I will suppose 
initialize measure is equals to array of first element and then after i will initialize count is equals to 1 at the starting then after for finding target element i will start the for loop int i is equals to 0 i less than size size of array i plus plus here we will check if measure equals to a of i if it is right then we will do count plus plus else we will do count minus minus and if any condition will get count is equals to 0 then we will uh, will consider measure as our next element that is measure is equals to a of i and one more thing we will consider count again is equals to 1 now this uh, is all about to find the target element after finding target element we have to check that our target element is measured measure element or not for that i will create a small function i will um, create a function called is measurity i will pass three arguments like we required three things one is our array so array i have written next one is size size of our array and next one is measure that means our target element we have created now inside this function this function name is is majority we have passed three arguments that is array int a next one is size and size and next one is and measure that is our target element after that in this in this function we will check that uh, our target element is our majority element or not for that i will initialize one variable int count is equals to zero then after again i will traverse the loop traverse the loop int i is equals to zero i less than size i plus plus now inside this if our element like each element we will check if each element is equals to our measured element that is our target element then we will do count plus plus by this we will uh, find the count of means how how many time uh, our target element are present in this array after this we will check one more thing we have to check if this count is greater than n by 2 that is size by 2 size by 2 then what we have to print guys we have to print over here we have to print we have to return that measure element that is measure else what we have to return here look here the task is to complete the majority function which returns majority element in the array if there is no majority in the uh, in the array it then we have to return return minus one so we will return here minus one now guys our code code is complete let's let's compile it
this is example problem only here measured element is 3 which is given as output let's submit it so our code is submitted it's correct answer our code is correct so guys if you like this video please like and subscribe our channel in future i will be uploading many this kinds of video uh, different kinds of problems related to ds and algo bye bye thank you